How did the screen get broken? Is it the screen door, Your Honor? No, it's a screen and window that's down. One of my kids probably took it off. How old are your children? I have a 8, 11, and 13. But I can't tell you 100% the screen was on the window either because we never did a walk through at the house when I rented it. What is this picture? Left behind TV and speaker. Okay, this also comes under the category of garbage, so I assume you have a bill for garbage. Yes. What is this a picture of? That sink was loose. It pretty much just had to be repaired. So this is nothing. And what is this? Broken blinds. That's 20 bucks. What are you showing me here? The yard at one point had a rock walkway, and so it, the grass had pretty much grown to my knees. My landscapers charged me a lot to get it back to what it used to look like, so I, I have before and after. Mice were flying out the of the yard screen? when they were cleaning it. What is this? Um, damaged walls, missing outlet covers, stains on carpet. This is the leak? that she claimed was there. That's something that she would do. And this is also a missing uh -huh. socket. Okay. The only thing that I'm entertaining from you, Miss Plava, is as follows. I'm entertaining a bill for cleaning out the trash that she left behind that I want to see. Everything else is nonsense. May I see it, please? Well, my landscaper hauled off some stuff and my handyman hauled off some stuff, but I can show you that. Yes, fine. Okay. Did your lease provide that you had to maintain the yard? Your Honor, I actually have a text message saying that she was going to have somebody come out and maintain the weeds. The answer is either yes or no. Did your lease provide that you had to maintain the yard? No. Is that correct? It does say that the tenant's responsible for the yard work. For the yard work. I'd like to see that. Yep. Did either you or any other member of your family ever take care of the yard while you were yes, there? Yes, Your Honor. Who? My husband and my son. What did they do? They mowed it and they weed eated it. You have a photograph of it? No, I do not. Well, this doesn't look as if it had been mowed or weeded in a very long time. When was that picture taken? I don't know. That's not grass right there, Your Honor, in the picture that you're looking at. It's the side where it's the walkway. And I have a text message saying she was going to take care of that. I'd like to see that. This is the picture I'm talking about. That's the sidewalk way. There has never been grass there, Your Honor. And the top text message says she was going to have somebody come over to spray for weeds. And I think that text message was May. April. April, and April. she had somebody come someone out. someone that can unlock the gate so I can have the landscape spray the weeds? And nobody ever came until August, two days before That's I moved not out. True. Not urgent. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me? Well, I am a realtor. I understand the value of real estate, keeping up on the property. It was my intention to keep that home as a rental. I've been forced to sell because of all the expenses. I know that I would just like to get paid back for some of the fees. Can I that see I the bill for the screens? I did get an email estimate, but I am not able to pull it up from my phone. I could do it from a computer, that's but it was my, $330. That that's, wouldn't be my problem, that you can't bring me the evidence. $250 to haul the trash is, I think, a reasonable figure, and $250 for the windows, for the screens. You have a counterclaim. Your counterclaim is for money owed for security deposit and moving expenses. Did you keep her security deposit? Her deposit was $800, and $400 was non-refundable. What's that mean, $400 non-refundable? It's not refundable. She doesn't get that back. Well, what do you do with it? Well, I don't charge first and last month's rent. So in the event that she doesn't pay last month's rent like she did, I keep it. Did she pay last month's rent? No. Okay, so she didn't pay $1,000? No. And she lived there? Yes. Oh, well, then you don't get your security deposit back. Did you pay your last month's rent? I did not live there, ma'am. I moved out early. What date did you move out? I moved out August 6th. Or August 8th, sorry. August 8th. So you were there the month of August. Did you pay the August rent? No, I did not. Stay. Well, then you don't get your security deposit back. Absolutely right. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $500. Your counterclaims dismissed. That's all. Thank you. Pardon your excuse. You may step out. It was not fun. It was pretty dirty and stinky, so. I did not destroy the place like she claimed. They had a bunch of people all the time, all kinds of cars parked outside. I didn't have anybody there. So I don't know who was in there and who wasn't. You know, she's a really nice lady in the beginning, and she turned psycho. Screen your tenants better. Like bipolar. So buy a house.